So I go into this room with these fellas, take me into the room. There was always a Lieutenant Zumwalt that was always coming around with me, taking care of me. You know, I had to have an escort everywhere. So he goes with me, he takes me into this room, and there are these two engineers and a long table, great big long table, tremendous thing, covered with a blueprint that's as big as a table. Not one blueprint, but a stack of blueprints like this. I took mechanical drawing when I was in school, but I wasn't too good at reading blueprints. So they start to explain it to me because they thought I was a genius. And they start out, Mr. Piper, we'd like you to understand that plant is so designed. You see, one of the things we had to avoid was accumulation. Problems like there's an evaporator working, which is trying to accumulate the stuff. If a valve gets stuck or something like that and accumulate too much stuff, it'll explode. So they explain to me that this plant is designed so that no one valve, if any one valve gets stuck, nothing will happen. It needs at least two valves everywhere. Okay. So then he's explaining how it works. The carbon tetrachloride comes in here, the uranium nitrate from here comes in here, it goes up and down, it goes through the floor, comes up through the pipes, coming up from the second floor, brrr, up through the blueprints, down, up, down, up. Very fast talking, explaining it. Very complicated chemical plant. I'm completely dazed. Worse. I don't know what the symbols on the blueprint mean. <laughs> There's some kind of a thing that at first I think it's a window. It's a square with a little cross in the middle like this. All over the damn place. Lines with this damn square. Lines with this damn square. I think it's a window. No, it can't be a window because it ain't always at the edge. <laughs> I want to ask him what it is. Now, you must have been in a situation like this. You didn't ask him right away. Right away it would have been okay. But they've been talking a little bit too long. <laughs> you hesitated too long. If you ask them now, they'll say, what are you wasting my time all this time for? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think to myself, I swear, I, often in my life I've been lucky. You are not going to believe this story, but I swear it's absolutely true. It's such sensational luck. It's, uh, I say, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I got an idea. Maybe it's a valve. So in order to find out whether it's a valve or not, I take my finger and I put it down in the middle of one of the blueprints on page number three down in here, and I say, what happens if this valve gets stuck? <laughs> Figuring they're going to say, that's not a valve, so that's a window. <laughs> so one looks at the other and says, well, if that valve gets stuck, and they go up and down in the blueprint, up and down in the blueprint, <laughs> other guy up and down in the blueprint, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, they both look at each other, and they chick, 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 and they turn around to me, and they open them out like this. You're absolutely right, sir. <laughs> They roll up the blueprints of the way they went, and we walked out. <laughs> and Mr. Zumwalt, who'd been following me all the way through, he says, you're a genius. He says, I got the idea you're a genius when you went through the plant once, and you could tell them about evaporator C21 and building 9207 the next morning. He says, and when you knew all about the neutrons, you were a genius. But what you have just done, he said, was so fantastic. <laughs> I want to know how, how do you do something like that? I told him, you try to find out whether it's a valve or not. That's <laughs>